With the head coach, I'm Mike Keith, welcoming you to another edition of the Mike Vrabel Show. The Titans rally in the fourth quarter came up short on Sunday against the Texans. Titans fall to eight and three on the season. Mike Vrabel, a lot to break down after the game, and you got the team in here on Monday, got right to work on it. I'm sure you were pleased with the attention to detail that they showed after the fact. Yeah, I mean, we always have to have uh, some attention to detail whether we win or lose. And unfortunately, we don't have to dig too hard to see why we lost that football game. We fought, and I think under a lot of other circumstances, that thing would have been a lot worse than what it was. And our, we actually had a chance. You know, our, our guys hung in there. They fought um, in all three phases. We just we can't turn the ball over as many times as you did. We didn't handle the elements. The Titans with the second half rally, and that leads off our six pack here as Tennessee coming back from a 19 to nothing deficit to make it a game down the stretch. You have to start off with a touchdown pass that goes to a young man who less than two weeks ago was on the practice squad. It's Des Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Des has continued to improve. And, you know, you can kind of see when things get going the right way, there's a good pocket. You know, Ryan's able to progress through and, you know, move the post safety there. And Des does a good job of getting up the seam, making a good catch in, in, a, in a bad, uh, you know, in a, in a bad environment you know i mean those are that's a tough catch right there that he's able to haul in there and take care of the football make sure he secures it and completes the process of the catch fitzpatrick three catches 35 yards in the ball game titans also got production from a running back called up from the practice squad dontrell hilliard had 147 total yards including 16 on the ground here well well blocked play he gets it downhill he takes care of the football you see a nice little burst through the line of scrimmage you know, you can see, you know, Ben there sealing off Cunningham. You know, everybody kind of getting their guy covered up. There's Nick Westbrook again going in there and getting Reed the safety. So, you know, Dontrell did do some nice things and gave us a spark. And, um, you know, we'll see if we can't find some more opportunities for him. Titans trying to get the ball back in order to have a chance to score in the fourth quarter. And so they turn to one of their young defensive backs, rookie Elijah Molden, a third and seven play he does not allow the receiver to get the 70 needs. Yeah, just trying to get some pressure and dial up a, a blitz there. And Elijah does a great job of breaking and, you know, really just a picture, picture perfect. Uh, there's a holding call right there. But anyway, there's a picture perfect tackle. You know, he goes in there with his shoulder, brings his feet, drives his, you know, drives his legs, wraps up and, and really takes him backwards on, on a, you know, very close play there at the sticks. As we like to say about guys like Elijah Molden, he ain't scared. No, he'll throw it in there. He, he will absolutely throw it in there. Another guy not scared is Nick Westbrook Aquina, outstanding special teams player. Also seven catches for 107 yards. Here's 46 of those yards. You know, dialed up a good play call here. Nick got down the seam. You know, just keep running, Nick, see if we can't break a tackle. But but again, there's the, the protection. Um, you know, the pocket is clean. Ryan's able to step up. Nick gets down the seam in the too high safety look and you know, does a nice job. And there was a lot of good things, unfortunately, that just got uh, overshadowed by, by some of the negative, the costly mistakes that we had in the game. Titans in the fourth quarter, about midway through, had first and seven, first and goal to go at the Houston seven. Hilliard is the receiver. He's not able to get in the end zone, but Ferks are alert and hustling. You know, good catch, good throw. And then there's Ferk. You know, when you run to the football, good things happen. You know, that that's a huge recovery right there. It's on first down outside of two minutes. So it can be recovered by anybody uh, in the end zone for a touchdown for, you know, make sure that he's you know, got possession of it and, and then gets a knee or a shoulder or body part down. Ferks are with the recovery, also had five catches in the ball game for the Titans. So Anthony Ferkser makes it 19 to 13 with that score. Titans trying to get the ball back third and one play. 
Rex Burkhead is going to take the handoff, but here's Jayon Brown. Well, you know, Jeffrey does a great job of getting some penetration there. And, you know, up front, Jayon goes and triggers and tear, you know, tear tarts in there battling. And, you know, they, they did compete. You know, that's what they're going to compete. And uh, you know, that, that's what I'm, I'm proud to be their coach. You're not, you're not going to win every game, you know, especially when you turn it over and you make some mistakes. But, you know, they compete and they fight. And, uh, you know, I'm confident that uh, they'll prepare this week the same way. Ready to turn the page. We certainly are with the head coach with our Nissan keys to victory. The next opponent, the Patriots, in our next segment, we'll talk about those keys with the head coach. As you watch the Mike Vrabel Show, stay tuned for more. Titans' next opponent, the New England Patriots. Kickoff for Sunday's game is set for noon. The Patriots were 2-4 and four at one time. They are now 7-4, and four, playing outstanding overall defense, doing good things on offense as well. A very efficient, a very talented football team. Very big challenge overall, offense, def defense, specialty. Yeah, it's going to be a huge challenge. You know, I mean, I'd like to think that we had some momentum going in there. We had a, you know, took a step back last week, but you know, hopefully we can put that behind us and, and learn from it and understand that, that you just can't continue to give a team that many opportunities and, you know, play the, play on our side of the field as many times as we did. All right, let's take a look at Mike Vrabel's Nissan Keys. And one begins with special teams, and that's creating some field position. Well, they got Matt Slater who's going to go to the Hall of Fame. We're going to have to block their gunners specifically in the return game. Uh, if we can take care of the football and create some field position, uh, in that return game, and, and I feel like there are glimpses of it in the kickoff return as well. Um, you know, Davis does a fantastic job. He's, he's down there. Bethel's a great gunner. You know, they've got a really good core group of, of safety-type players, um, and, and obviously Matthew Slater, a Hall of Famer. So it's going to be huge for us to continue what we've started to build here on special teams the last couple weeks. Nissan key number two is about running the football, and you got to run it to make sure you're not in third and long. Yeah, not even just, obviously just running the football, but just any any just efficiency on early downs. Can't sit there in third and 10, let these guys tee off on you, you know, rotate the coverage and give you some different looks. It's just, it's too much to ask consistently. So if we can run the football, you know, find ways, and it's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna have to find ways to, to, to grind it out and, and give ourselves a chance to create some third and short situations to convert drives. Nissan key number three is also about to run their run and stopping it. Yep, they're going to push you around. They got two big backs. Obviously, they got multiple guys that they put in there, but their fullback's probably the one that makes it all go. You know, your Tennessee buddy right there. So Jakob yeah, Johnson. Yeah, and he's uh, he's a load, and he loves blocking, and they do a great job with it. Um, Harris and Stevenson, and so you know we're going to have to stop it. They're going to push you around up front if you let them. All right, so those are your Nissan keys to victory over the Patriots. Now time for Coach Rabel's favorite part of his show each week. From our good friends at Delta Dental, can Mike Vrabel guess this Titan? I've been studying, Mike. You've been studying. I've you been got, studying. you got game tape. Okay. You want me to go right now? I know no, I need no. a break. We need to go to break. Because I need a break. Okay, we'll get a break. He says timeout. Time out, Mike Vrabel on the Mike Vrabel Show. Stay I right know on. who that is. You do? Well, yeah. hang on. We got to go to break. Delta Dentals, can you guess this Titan? Mike Vrabel says this Titan is. How much time do I have to draw it out? Whatever you want to do. I did some studying, and then Ashley gave me a bet, and then I saw the nose and the mouth and the smile. Texas' own Deontay Foreman. Deontay Foreman? Was number 45, now number seven. There he is. Coming back. You're proud of this guy. He's worked hard. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've always, I have always liked Deontay. I think just from being with him and uh, the, the Texans and he's kind of come back and then he's moved on and now we got him back here. So, you know, he's, he's doing a good job for us. He's taking advantage of his opportunities and, you know, hopefully we can continue to progress uh, him here with our offense. That That's a group in there that's, that's you know, helping us out. We, you know, obviously lost Derek for a little while. And so, um, you know, with Jeremy, hopefully we can get him back, get these guys rolling. Tony Dew's pretty special running back coach. Tony coaches him up. Tony gets him going. And, you know, between Kari and Torrey Carter, our fullbacks, um, you know, that's a good group. And, and Tony takes a lot of pride in his job. And, you know, he's a good football coach. Guy who took a lot of pride in being a Tennessee Titan was – the freak when we come back he makes an appearance in our 
Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show. This past weekend, homecoming for over 50 titans of the past as they attended several different events, including Sunday's game at Nissan Stadium. In this week's Titans Files, Amy Wells found one of those former Titans, a Titans great who still stands out among the rest. the great talents that have played in the NFL, only one has simply been known as the freak. At the five, touchdown, that, of course, is Javon Curse. The original Titan Curse was a three-time Pro Bowl selection who totaled 74 sacks and 28 forced fumbles in an 11-year career that was especially spectacular from 1999 to 2003. Those were the five years where the Titans were especially spectacular in their own right. And now more than a decade into retirement, Curse watches the Titans play every week. Allen on third and 10, being heated up, in trouble. Sack! Yes, Harold Landry! It's no surprise that Javon Curse has been very interested in Harold Landry. Because of Landry's great start to the season, Curse's Titan sack record of 14 and a half is in real trouble. But that's fine by Curse. He's a fan of number 58. The guy, he he has a motor. And basically, like that's that that's basically like how I play. Like um, I had my skill set, I had speed, I had get off, but on top of that, I just I was persistent. And that's what he does. Like he comes, he brings it, he brings that intensity like all game. Javon Curse is most intrigued by Jeffrey Simmons. Simmons is a freak in his own right, and Curse believes that his gifts would make Big Jeff a big star in any era. It seems like when he wants to, when he makes his mind up, you can't stop him. He can be very disruptive, and that's what you want on, uh, with playing on a team with a guy like that. Especially if I was a DN, like I would love to line up next to this guy. Dude, go in there and, and mess things up so it, it can like it can help me out on the end over here. So he's one of those guys that can like he can change a game all by himself, and. That's good. Now over 40, Curse is regularly seeing the sons of his NFL peers start to creep onto NFL rosters. Plus, a lot of guys that he played with and against are now coaching. Mike Vrabel qualifies on that list. Curse loves to watch Vrabel at work and would have loved to have played for him. He was on the Super Bowl team, like a, a dynasty. Got a lot of coaching success under his hands by playing with Bill Belichick. Now he's just putting what he did He's putting it to use, which as a player, it makes you like be more like accountable for that person because you've seen that person. This person won Super Bowls. This person did, he did, he, he did the walk. So now he's just not talking it. Like he, now he just wants to just pass it on. So someone like Mike Vrabel, that's, I see no other reason than to just go out there and get this guy all you have. I think the first time I saw him get out in the drill with some of the football players, whatever, like a coach that does that, like you gotta, you like let's let's go, like let's go win this thing, baby. So good to see all those guys back, but especially good to spend time with the freak Javon Kurz. When we come back, something we're very excited about: we will reveal the finalist for the 2021 Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Award. That's next on the Mike Vrabel Show. On December 7th, the Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Award winners for 2021 will be crowned in a special luncheon at Nissan Stadium. Tonight, we have the privilege of presenting the three finalists in all 10 categories. And let's start in Division I with Class A. Khalid Ganaway, Peabody. DeAndre Kelly, South Pittsburgh. Marquez Taylor McKenzie. Class 2A, Cameron Huckabee, Meigs County. Cameron Miller, Memphis Academy of Health Sciences. Ty Simpson, Martin Westview. 
3A, Caden Buckles, Alcoa, Jacob Dooley, Waverly, Keaton Herrig, Loudon. Class 4A, Barion Brown, Pearl Cone, Mason Gudger, Greenville, Caden Pope, Hardin County. Division 1 5A, Deshaun Bishop, Carnes, Jamarius Brooks, Memphis Central, Walter Nolan III, Powell. 6A, Jordan James, Oakland, Destin Wade, Summit, Keaton Wade, Summit. Moving now to Division 2, Class A, Bradford Gaines, DCA, Steele Haynes, USJ, Joshua Strickland Jr., Nashville Christian. Class 2A, Alexander Broom, Lipscomb Academy. Langston Patterson, CPA. Luther Richardson, Lipscomb Academy. Division 2, Class 3A, Dallin Hayden, Christian Brothers. Kenny Menchie, Pope John Paul II. William Riddle, McCauley. And our three finalists for kicker of the year, regardless of classification, Upton Bellenpont, Stewart's Creek, Justice Chadwick, Tullahoma, George Laster, Brentwood Academy. Let's take the opportunity now to go through the finalists one more time. Again, beginning in Division I with Class A. Kalik Ganaway, Peabody. DeAndre Kelly, South Pittsburgh. Marquez Taylor, McKenzie. 2A, Cameron Huckabee, Meigs County. Cameron Miller, Memphis Academy of Health Sciences. Ty Simpson, Martin Westview. 3A, Caden Buckles, Alcoa. Jacob Dooley, Waverly. Keaton Herrig, Loudon. 4A, Barion Brown, Pearl Cone. Mason Gudger, Greenville. Caden Pope, Hardin County. 5A, Deshaun Bishop, Carnes. Jamarius Brooks, Memphis Central. Walter Nolan III, Powell. 6A, Jordan James, Oakland. Destin Wade, Summit. Keaton Wade, Summit. Division II, Class A, Bradford Gaines, DCA, Steel Haynes, USJ, Joshua Strickland, Jr., Nashville Christian. Division II, Class 2A, Alexander Broom, Lipscomb Academy, Langston Patterson, CPA, Luther Richardson, Lipscomb Academy. Division II, Class 3A, Dallin Hayden, Christian Brothers. Kenny Menchie, Pope John Paul II, William Riddle, McCauley. And kicker of the year, Upton Bellenfont, Stewart's Creek, Justice Chadwick, Tullahoma, and George Laster, Brentwood Academy. Those are our finalists for Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Awards for 2021. Coach, that's an incredible list of 30 young men. I'll tell you what, man, there are some really cool names in there. I haven't seen a lot of these guys play, but I tell you what, they got it in the program and these guys are ready to go. This kickers, I, I don't, that's, a, that's the greatest group of kickers names I've ever seen. Congratulations to all you athletes, okay? For those of you that are still playing, find a way to help your team win a championship, okay? Any way that you can, okay? Congratulations on behalf of our coaching staff, our football team and our organization and best of luck to you guys still playing. Can't wait to see you guys over at Nissan Stadium. Nissan Stadium, December 7th for the luncheon. Those are your 30 finalists for Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Awards for 2021. And coach, happy Thanksgiving. You too, Michael, thank you. All right, thank you so much for joining us for the Mike Vrabel Show. For the head coach, I'm Mike Keith, and a happy Thanksgiving to you.